the most cherished fairy tale in Chicago is that crime is a black thing. Everybody knows that. Nobody denies that. But here comes the fairy tale part. Oh yeah, it's all over there on the south side. It's all over there with the drug dealers. It's all over there with the gang members. It's all over there with... It doesn't happen around here. It doesn't happen downtown. It doesn't happen near the ballparks. It doesn't happen near these nice upscale places where, where the yuppies go, where they go to restaurants, where they walk hand in hand with family members thinking they're totally safe. They are totally wrong. This is now a daily occurrence in Chicago. Everybody knows it, including the reporters, except they're just not telling us. And in critical condition as police question a person of interest from a shooting that happened just steps away from Millennium Park. The family of the victim watching in horror as this scene unfolded. Eyewitness News reporter Laura Podesta is tracking the latest developments. She joins us live with more. Laura? And Ben, the family was here at the crime scene, clearly distraught after this shooting. You can see them in this video crying on the phone shortly after the 54-year-old was shot in the head just steps from Millennium Park. He was rushed to Northwestern Memorial Hospital in critical condition. Now, this all happened around 7.30 last night. The victim's sister tells us when her brother was shot, she tried chasing the shooter, but he got away by bike. Chicago police now say they have that person in custody and he's being questioned. We spoke to bystanders who were visiting Millennium Park and could not believe they were witness to this kind of violent crime in downtown Chicago. It's downtown. We're right by the faces, uh, the sculptures. Usually it's a family friendly area. You know, this stuff happens either west side, south side, but it's, it's spreading all over the place. Something needs to be done. It's just crazy. You know, this world's going crazy. Stuff is continuing to happen. Uh, we just need to bring hope to the city and hope to America. We saw what looked like a blood-soaked shirt in the street. Police later tagged that as evidence, putting it in a paper bag. From what we're hearing, the victim is still alive, but in critical condition at Northwestern Memorial Hospital. You know who really knows this? Cops. You know what keeps cops awake at night? They worry that you don't know it. They worry that all these people in Chicago don't have the slightest idea what's going on in their own city because all they know is what they've convinced themselves is the, tr of, is the truth, which is a lie. And they've convinced themselves what they see on TV, newspaper, radios is true when it's nothing but a fairy tale, nothing but another way to not make the black kids angry.